next setting that is field status variant okay before field status variant let's post one transaction and we will see in a document i'm going to do a document posting We are getting some messages. Account 1005 requires an uh, to, uh, re assignment to a CO object. That means being user, I need to enter here some CO object. It's not specifying what the CO object we need to add, whether it is cost center or internal order or profitability segment, but something is required. Okay, so that we need to specify. So here, if I will enter the cost center, then maybe it will accept. Now it's accepted. That means in configuration, we did some backend setting so that whenever a user will post any transaction, all the field settings we can manage at our end. Okay, whatever the fields are appeared. So like here, it, is, it was asking the field cost center. That means if I will not enter this cost center, so system is not going to accept this particular transaction. Somewhere maybe some other fields will be there. So how we are going to manage this? This is nothing but uh, one field settings. Okay, similarly, like when you have created any Gmail account, so that time you entered some information so like your uh, complete name or date of birth or male or female. If you're not going to specify those information, so they are not, uh, in system, you're not going to able to create the new GML account or in your mail account. So that means in the backend, in their server, they did some settings. Whenever there will be new account will be open. These are the minimum informations required. Similar to this, if any transaction will be posted, whatever the fields you want to, um, informations are required, then we can enter. If, for example, if this specification is not there, right? Then what will happen? We can post the transaction, but cost center is not there. So that means this particular cost is there in your FI, but not in the CO. So as a result, your p or your income statement will have this cost, whereas your income uh, from cost calculation point of view, this one is zero. That means as a result for cost of production calculation, it is under production or undervalued. Fine. So let's see the settings. Assume that in system we have only two settings are there. That means one field either you can take it mandatory or you can leave it. Okay, for example, we have taken as mandatory. Then what will the problem will be there? Three type of document I have taken here example. One is expense posting. One is purchase order. And one is bank payment. Assume that in each document, cost center is mandatory. So here we have taken cost center mandatory, here cost center mandatory. In all, all it is mandatory. Now problem is, in while posting the expense, it is perfectly applicable. That means cost center required. User will uh, system will ask the cost center. User will enter the cost center. So this cost center may be auto set, settings possible or manually. Assume that we need to manually user need to specify the cost center. So it is perfectly applicable. Whereas in purchase order, 
maybe we have cost center is there or not cost center is not there in this case if user will not enter the cost center until unless user will enter the cost center system is not going to accept the particular transaction okay in this case even if if the cost center will not enter system is not going to accept but in case of bank payment cost center is not applicable but here system will ask the cost center in purchase order maybe we don't have the cost center but if will cost center will not be entered then system is not going to accept so only by taking the mandatory setting it's not enough so we have to do some settings maybe somewhere mandatory somewhere optional and somewhere suppressed okay optional mandatory suppressed so that means if anywhere it is required we will do the settings mandatory optional means it's okay if they will enter it's okay otherwise they will not enter it's okay suppress means we are not going to remove that field we don't we don't have the authorization to remove any field from the table suppress means um, that means we are going to hide that field so that if uh, system will not ask any information for that and if user will enter so system is going to throw the error also so in three layer we are going to control now is it possible to make it mandatory on the purchase order is there a setting for something yeah, like you, that y yeah you can do you can okay. do so that's why uh, we have to take three different as for this example we have to take three different groups you take this right. group as g004 g006 g005 so that means in g004 it is mandatory g006 optional you are saying that it should be optional make it in, uh, a mandatory here in g006 i have taken like in one company code let's say we will continue with g006 cost center for purchase order or not specifically purchase order for this group or uh, this group optional maybe in another company code you want this should be mandatory so you can take uh, g006 in when you will do the configuration or a different group you can take this mandatory so as for requirement we can control we can do this change the settings okay so that means we can control the field at field level or at group level or at variant level variant concept means again create once and assign with multiple company code so basically by using this functionality we are going to control the different fields of document this is important document because same concept is applicable in other area through different tools that means by using it's not like only we will use one this tool for different field setting it is only for document or transaction posting so how we will configure this go to ledger fields then standard fields define field status new entry take anything four digit so i am taking the same character then fill status variant save it now under this variant we are going to create some groups new entry as for the example this is g004 this is your costing document g005 uh, purchase order or material document g00 no this is your bank document bank payments g006 material document 
save it. So variant is WM10. This one we need to assign with company code. Under this variant, assume that three groups are there. G004. Go to details. And here you will find the different segments are there. What we need? Cost center. So double click here, additional account assignment. Take this field as required. So whenever this will be applicable in any document, system will ask the cost center. Until unless it is not entered, system will ask me. So how the settings will be there? Directly, we can't allow, uh, we can't add any group with the company code. We are going to assign the variant. So how then it will be linked? This is your IMG settings. So in IMG settings, you have created the variant WM10 and uh, here you have the group G004. In G004, you have selected three radio buttons are there. Suppress, required or optional. So you have selected this is required. This will be linked with GL account. Directly we are not going to use any document. So this will be linked with your GL masters. So in GL master, we are going to add these settings and this GL will be used in various transactions, various postings. So whenever we are going to G use this GL, let's say this GL number is 1000. Whenever we are going to use this GL 1000, everywhere system will ask the cost center as mandatory. So this is how we are going to control. So you're basically going to assign that group to the GL. Exactly. So group will be assigned okay. to any specific ledger. Okay. Okay, here it is not required. So I will make it cost center. I will make this suppressed. Here it is. I will take this optional. So like this, you are going to control. Now for one particular field, so much combinations or permutation combinations are required. So now you can imagine how many fields are there. Thousands of fields are there in a document and uh, different type of transactions will be there. So that's why it is very time consuming process if you're going to continue like this. So it, that's why SAP is providing standard field status variant. You just copy it and they did the settings as per the best practice. That means if you're going to copy from SAP standard system, automatic it is expected cost center is mandatory entry. If you're going to select a group like this. Okay, maybe if it is a material related, it is optional. So um, it's up to you. You can create like this one by one, but again, it is time consuming or we can copy it. I have explained in both way how to create. Now I will show you how to copy. Even project also we are uh, we are copying from the standard triple zero one. So you can do the same or you can create your own. But make sure that if you're going to create your own, it will take time and you have to correctly configure. This is the concept. But we can change any time, right? Any time, any time we can change. Yeah, even if you are going to copy, we can change. Uh, we have to, let's say, uh, we copy it from the standard. Maybe it is not perfectly applicable in our requirements, so we can change it. In in general, do you need a cost center on inventory um, entries? Um, it, it's mostly it's cost center is just for expenses, right? So in expense, the cost center is there. For example, let's say you are raising one purchase order for asset. So in that case, we want that asset should be linked with the department so that depreciation posting when we will run, mm. it will be part of my cost of production. So in that case, you right. can add it. Dep okay. Depends on what type. But if it if it's if it's just a regular inventory okay. item, then you probably posting, don't need. Yeah, we need, we don't need. So okay. if it is something it's required, for example, we need to create a purchase order. So it's a regular. So I don't need any cost center to be entered here. Okay, so normally I can continue, but if I told you on one requirement, we have a cost center. Then if we'll enter here account assignment if you'll we'll specify here k that means cost center is required now if you'll we'll continue this purchase order system will ask the cost center so depends on the requirement
sticker. Okay, so I deleted that one. Now I will show you how to create. Go to fuel status query to OBC4 transaction code. Always copy from 0001. Don't copy from other area. Maybe it is uh, someone, someone created. So always copy from 0001. Select, copy it, copy as. Take anything for digit. Change the description. Copy all. That means under this variant, we copied different type of fields. So you can see here, if it is uh, in triple zero one who created. Okay, so this one wrongly created. Wrongly created means it is required from business point of view, but in standard system itself, someone created, that's why. Okay, so you can see actually the it should be 41. That means if it is a fresh system, then you will find 41 here. But here it's copied 42. Uh, this one created. Let me cancel it. Let me delete that one because in future we will add some groups. That time I will show you. Someone already created here wrongly. Let me delete it first. In standard system, you will not find this one. If you go to the vanilla client. It is blocked. Do we have access to this? Mm, okay, I will show you. Okay, it's uh, blocked may by uh, basis maybe. Uh, but if you go to the standard system, you won't get this one. One after that, three will be there. Let's delete it. Select, click on copy. Change it. Copy all. 41 copied 41 standard we copied if required we can add or in future also we are going to add Now see under this different type of transaction different field status groups are there if it is general one is there Okay, if it is related to material consumption something is there so from group wise your different field settings will differ Okay, we are just discussing cost center if you'll check here g004 See Best practice is providing cost center should be mandatory. For example, let's say you copy it, but you don't need the cost center in expense posting. It's let's say cost center is not applicable. You can change it. Save. Okay, for example, let's say it's five. So we had we discussed that here it should be suppressed in bank bank payment cost center suppressed if it is bank payment another field that is your value field that should be mandatory see here it's it is required entry this field you will not get in other area okay for example let's say if it is four you won't get value field should be mandatory see it's suppressed so it depends on the transaction or nature of transaction we need this field settings next assign it to company code assign company code to field status variant Company code WM10. Okay, done. How to use it while posting the transaction? We will see. Fine. So uh, some global settings we completed today. We completed the doc detailed document discussion. In document, we, we have not configured anything. Uh, we configured the number range in the document concept. Document type posting keys are there already. Then we discussed the different field settings. Okay, any question before we wind up? 
the only mm-hmm. like where can i get the recordings actually like because i miss a little session today i think srinivas must have shared some link okay. drive link okay so i'll check all... i i got yeah. the one from yesterday uh, is there uh, anything from day before yesterday i i think i missed the one on sunday um or um sunday I mean, we, we we are not the sessions on sunday well y- y- your your monday my sunday okay 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 monday morning yeah uh, it, it should be the same drive i don't i don't have the access you okay. just check with srinivas okay so i'll check with srinivas and one one yeah. more thing sorry pradeep um do we yeah. have a class on friday like your saturday saturday no. no no oh no okay like but we do have uh, on friday morning though right friday morning i yes okay. thursday evening for you oh, yes yes okay yeah it is thank you thank you okay yeah okay okay bye right. document type related to header related informations of the document posting key line item informations and document number range creating the number range uh, for each transaction and whatever the transactions we will post any document it may be related to customer vendor asset whatever so every document is linked with one document header and each document header is linked with one document number range so that we discussed then basically posting key it is line item control all this uh, and different account types having or linked with different posting keys number range okay then we discuss the field settings or field settings variant these are the configuration so far whatever we have completed it is not related to any company code these all configurations are created except the number range it is created at client level and uh, that's how we can use it with any company code not specifically for one company code next settings that is user tolerance so the word tolerance means fixing the limit okay for example if i am the accountant and i want to post a transaction i should have some authorization some accountability and some limit that means up to that i can only post the transaction so let's say in organization we have different type of users are there some are let's say accountant or we can say these are the end users maybe team lead managers under this we have different type of people are there right so when we are going to fix the limit we are not going to fix the limit for every individual or every user rather we will fix the limit or tolerance for one particular group okay that means some tolerance for this group for this group and this group let's say this is group a or group 1 group 2 group 3 from where we will get this user list users the basis will create the user like you have your user ids so basis will create the users and these users we are going to assign to group and for one group we are going to fix the limit so let's say you are going to post the transactions something like this rent 5000 salary 10000 then advertisement 2000 all are your debit entries credit entries so when you are going to post the transaction you have couple of debit entries and credit entries so all total this is your document so that means we are going to fix limit for document also individual line transactions so we are going to fix the limit for 
individual lines or individual items also that means document limit and line limit for one group for example let's say for this group the document limit is one lakh line limit is 40,000 that means any user from this group they can maximum post one document with one lakh and one document and in every line 40,000 total of debit and total of credit so this is your document total and in line wise you can see the amount all this there so that means this is your line limit so in if any line maximum limit is for me it is 40,000 if amount is more than that system will not accept it then what is the process will uh, uh, enter it or will process this one I can enter this right I can enter this but instead of posting I can park the document so that through workflow this will flow from this user to another user and that user will accept it and they will post it so while posting we will see but right now we are going to fix the tolerance limit only for user so different tolerance are there customer vendor tolerance GL tolerance okay then in MM also some more tolerance will be there it's nothing but fixing a limit upper limit and lower limit transaction code OBA4 through navigation Go to document, I mean global setting, document, tolerance group, define tolerance group for employees. Directly we will not create the tolerance. First go to assign user tolerance group. That means under one company code, you may have multiple group, groups are there. Assign user tolerance group, new entry, username, then the group what you want to assign like if I will see so group one that means any rule we have to create under for this user that should be with group one only define tolerance group for employees new entry group one then company code next question is the group creation is mandatory maybe in training system you can skip the group so that means at company code label you can post so any user can post the transaction but in real case group is mandatory amount per document and amount per line item for the timing skip all this in next topic we will see okay done now if you want to see what are the configurations so far we have completed related to global setting so you can verify this go to transaction code OBY6 that is the global parameter view search your company code and go to details so so far what we completed we have selected one fiscal year variant that we configured and we assigned also field status we configured we assigned posting period we have configured we have assigned and this is company code is part of company this much we have completed